Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to 8-Bit Invaders, a game released in 2017, I believe, by Petroglyph Studios. Now, for those who are unaware, Petroglyph is, or technically was, I'm not really sure what their starting levels are like at the moment, The it was formed from the remainder of Westwood the people behind the original Command & Conquer games before EA basically showed them the door and then made Command & Conquer 4 and ruined everything. However, Petroglyph is still going strong. They released eight, the 8-bit eight series not long after the other, actually. In the... You can probably try and decipher that terrible grammar. Basically what I'm trying to say is that 8-bit armies came out then 8-bit armies, no, 8-bit armies, then 8-bit hordes, then 8-bit invaders came out very close to each other. Because let's face it, the 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 factions are all very similar in a way. A kind of reskins, I don't know. Not like they're not exactly reskins, but they. It's all. I don't know what I'm on about. You know what? We're just going to play this and then I'm going to shut up and stop trying to uh, do any sort of reviewy type content because, quite frankly, I'm not very good at it. We're going to play Dire Dungeon. Go down tw crank up the resources and create drop chance and then just stick a load of AI in. And we're going to play a random race, or faction, even. Now, I will warn you, I'm pretty terrible at this game. Just in general, I'm pretty terrible. And the only race or faction that I can really play properly are the Cranoids and the Death Deathsworn. Yep, Deathsworn. So, if we're playing anyone other than them, I will probably lose. Let's give it a go, shall we? We'll have it as a free-for-all, because why not? This is actually my favourite map. I don't know why. It just is. Oh, great! We're playing one of the 8-bit armies factions, which I am no good at. Oh, this is going to go terribly. Alright. Uh, are we the Renegades? Or are we the... God, I think we're the... Refinery. Grenade, Refinery. Infantry, and Engineer. We're the Guardians. Guardians, go! Yep, we're the Guardians. He, ju he just told me we're the Guardians. Constructing. Uh, Ready to come go. on. It's dropping off very slowly. Barracks complete. Yeah. Constructing. Right. Okay. Let's go find some. Uh... Move out. Hit him hard. Lead the way. Give it your all. Go find some. What should we call this? Crates. Supply crates. Barracks oh, there's a crate. Complete. Get it. That didn't help. Hello. Guardian ready. Guardians, go. Constructing. All right. For our cause. Move out. Lead the way. Grenades out. The idea behind the supply crates, if you hadn't guessed, is that you have to uh, well, collect them all, and you. Oh Jesus Christ! You get a massive army. Power plant complete. However. I don't think the AI actually goes after them, so it kind of gives you a little bit of an unfair advantage. Right, let's get another power plant. Constructing. What broke now? Ready to fight. Guardians, go. Guardian now I've got grenade infantry, so I should Give be able to all. smack them. Yep. <laughs> Move out. They clearly have forgotten that I have AOE. Power plant. Complete. I might actually be able to wipe out their go base. Oh, they've got vehicles. Fire in the hole. For our car. Apparently that doesn't stop me. Okay. Uh, what are the air units for the Guardians? 
anti-air drone and heavy drone, I will probably focus more on the motor. Constructing. Commander. Right. Move out. Lead the way. Go away. Heal up. Attack. Hit him hard. Uh, heal, heal, heal. There Mortal we go. Pool complete. Guardians, go. All right. For our call. Doesn't look like they've actually got a. Uh... Oh no, they've got a sorry. Lead the way. Heal. <laughs> this isn't working. Yep, this isn't working. Run. Leg it. For our cause. Move out. Right. Rocket car. I want a scorch tank. I need a tech lab for that. Constructing. But I'll get a couple of rocket cars anyway, because they're good for anti-air. The they don't seem to have got the hint that I'm not interested in fighting them. Maybe it's because I killed all their units. They're probably a bit upset about that. Oh my god. I should not have engaged. Right. Get a cannon sorted up and running. Constructing. Okay. Cannot shoot aircraft. Cannot shoot. Neither of their base defenses can shoot aircraft. Well, that is terrible. It's about there, isn't it? Was it there? I think it's there. Constructing. Yeah. Right. Oh, I've just noticed. Commander. Only infantry can get supply crates. Is that gonna blow up? No, you can get that. Nope, Can't I can't actually it. get it. Nope, Complete. I didn't get it. What did I get? Repair crate. Repair crate. That doesn't help. Uh, radar? I don't really know what I'm... I don't really know what I'm going for. But I can get siege artillery. I want the scorch tanks though. Constructing. I can get a satellite uplink. Unlex unlocks orbital cannon weapon. So, the ion cannon from, you know, Commander Golga. That works, I suppose. <laughs> Building more radars increases radar radius. Complete. So that works very much like the StarCraft 2 Terran radar yeah. thing. Need its name it? I can't remember. I'm guessing. Power plant. Constructing. I should probably have more buildings by this point. Because I get a feeling they're going to be outproducing me heavily. I should also have another um, refinery. Includes free harvester when built. Fly refinery, get halves to free. Power plant complete. Right. Constructing. I'm running out of uh money. Something broken? Let me fix it. Okay. I find it a bit weird that the uh, engineers or whatever they're called. Yeah, engineers. Refinery can uh, repair complete. your units. I can help. I Leave I mean it's fine with the vehicles, but I'm I'm referring to the infantry. I mean, last time I tried to use a spanner on my head, it hurt. At your service. Okay. That's a joke. I didn't actually do that. That'd be stupid. Well, I'd I'd call it a joke, but it wasn't actually funny, was it? Yeah. Well. I hear stealth. I swear. Oh, the sniper's stealth. Right, I see there's units over there. Constructing. Let's build another one of those, just expand the radius a bit, see what they've got. Light unit with stealth capability. So, a stealth tank. Siege artillery. Basically, a lot of these units are GDI inspired, or not inspired. Sniper ready. In a way, anyway. 
Yeah. Scorch hey tank is Come basically through. the flame tank. Rocket car is basically the attack, uh, attack bike. APC, self-explanatory really. Grenade infantry, disc throwers. Or grenadiers, depending on which command and conquer you're playing. Spectre, stealth tank. Yeah. The only thing that engineers can't do is... Well... They can't actually go into uh, people's... They don't have that many units. I might actually be able to take them we'll like the Yeah, way. the only thing they can't do is capture enemy bases. Roll it out. Unlike the uh, engineers in Command and Conquer. Right. Sure thing. Attack move! Yeah. Oh dear, the word. Go, Scorch Tanks, go! Set them all on fire. Well, that was effective. I'm quite surprised that none of our, my Can't enemies have a uh, super weapon yet. Orange player eliminated. Oh. Roll it out. Take out that damn turret, Jesus. Well, I think they're dead. <sighs> Waiting on you. Uh, let's get some spectres. Why not? Ready to burn. The basic gist of this game is. Satellite uplink oops. Complete. The basic gist of this game is that uh, you need to really just mass units. Have different unit types by all means, because that's kind of important. But it's. Blue player eliminated. Yeah, it's kind of. Power plant complete. Even if you have a varied amount of units, you're still going to lose the masses. I see yellow heading towards the base. Right, get back to base. Back to base, back, 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 back. I don't know who they are. They can build crane. They've got air units. They're the 8 bit. They're the death swarm. Run! Oh, for God's sake. Get caught out. Right, attack! Attack move. Right. Right, get back in base. Preferably sooner rather than later. Right. Sure thing. Okay. I should probably get an air. Air thing, Constructing. Ah, they've gone away. Ready. Oh no, they're going they're coming back this way again. Wait, what are they doing? Wow, that's a lot of crates. <laughs> Motor pool complete. Okay. Constructing. Let's see if I can get that up and running before, before they come over. Yes. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Here. Probably because I should have done it earlier. I've got way too much money. Should be spending Scorch more on it. Turret complete. Constructing. I've got a few units. I've not got that many. They do, however, have their frost thing. I wonder. Scorch turret I... complete. Constructing. I wonder if they're going to send some units over here. Because I don't actually have any anti air turrets. Probably stick some spectres over there. Oh, cannot shoot aircraft. Okay, never mind then. I should probably put some snipers over there. Power plant complete. What if I can shoot from here? Probably not. I don't think I've got that much range. Nah. Here they come. Scorch turret under attack. Wait, that's it. Look at that That's nothing. Heal up. 
all my units. Stop moving. What was that? Oh, my, uh, my old cannon is ready. Excellent. Now, all I need is the drone sensor. Constructing. Well, a couple of drone centers. Vector ready. Repairing. And then I should be alright. Now, I do actually. There is the green player somewhere. I don't quite know what complete. is going on with him, though, because he doesn't seem to be doing much. As far as my knowledge, anyway. Constructing. Oh, I should have had a drone center ages ago. Explodes on contact with aircraft. So, basically, it's one of those drones called of duty where, you know, you drone threw it up. It was, I think it was Killstreak, you threw it up. And then you'd sort of pilot it into an enemy. Got it. And detonate it. Quietly. Move swiftly. Oh, sneaky. Boom! Got Infantry crates. Infantry crates. I like it. Vehicle and vehicle crates. crates. So now I'm getting some 8-bit hordes units because the crates Quietly. are not specific to your race, they're specific to the map. Move swiftly. So I'm getting some light sworn units. Uh, some light bring, light bringers. Sorry. God, it sounds. It sounds. It sounds like they're sort of farting their way across the screen. Yes. All right. Oh, sneaky. Oh, oh, there's green. There's like green. No, oh, we're not moving out while green's over there. Quietly. Right. Okay, they've got. Let's see if I can. Oh, sneaky. See if I can. Uh... I like it. Why is there only one unit? Got it. Well, we can use that one unit, to... or two units, to find out who they Move are. Swiftly. Give them the power. Oh, sneaky. They're the Death Swarm, like as well. Got it. Quietly. So I'm Move guessing swiftly. that was. Oh god. Lovely. I like it. Got it. Oh. Here they come. Hopefully, they'll now start fighting amongst themselves. Yes, they're fighting each other. Ah. Uh, and that's the advantage of an FFA. Uh, why am I not building things? I should be building things. In fact, you know what? Build everything. Quietly. Move swiftly. They're, they're not really having much of a fight, because uh, those things can't actually attack other air targets. There's more of a meet and greet. Uh, I might be able to have. Hang on. They've got light swords as well. But they've picked up crates somewhere, presumably. I've just lost a awful amount of units. I uh, must have run out of engineers, because they don't seem to repair my units. No, I'm actually getting quite low on engineers. <laughs> right. Now, where did they use their ice blast thing? Great. Right. Everyone. Orders. Get over there. Preferably don't die while the reinforcements are on route. Come on. Get over there. In fact, you know what, actually? Drones. Let's go with my original plan and send them off to Yellow's base. They've got a 
lot of light sworn units. I think they started picking up the crates. Right, now, is their base over here? Or is it a bit further around? It is not here. Okay. Constructing. Right, their base is there. I can tell because they've got an ogre just sitting there. Or not. What the hell? Where's their base? Have they got a base? Power plant. Because their base just basically consists of like two production buildings. There's another road. Ah, there you are. Ha, let's see how effective this is against buildings. Another. You need to stop attacking me, really. Oh, it's a cannon fire! That is the most ineffective thing I've ever experienced, right? Withdraw. What's the plan? I like it. It's a gallet tower at the very least. Got it. Right. Keep going. Quietly. Move swiftly. Oh, sneaky. And then Don't let them get resources. <laughs> I think, due to my overwhelming numbers now, I should be alright. The only thing I need to be concerned about is that yellow will eventually, while I'm busy with green, go and break my face. Luckily, I should... Oh, that's... Not actually a lot when you consider my AOE abilities. Right, yellow Commander. has their frost thing ready. Do not let them use it on me or I will die. On. See, I knew they'd come out. I'll come in when. Why didn't they? I thought they were going to use it. Not too close. Odd. You'd have thought that if they were going to use it, they'd use it against the giant mass of uh, Guardian units that's currently wrecking the base of one of their enemies. Maybe they're waiting until... Maybe they're waiting until I've finished off the green base. I don't think the lack of resources is really going to matter too much now. Fairly secure. He says, possibly. Green player eliminated. Right. This is group one. It's something I should have done quite a long time ago, but anyway. Commander. Bring out the pain. Bring out What? Mul selecting multiple groups in this is not always doesn't always work as you think it would. I can't. I've got so many units. I can't select them all. There we go. Oh, they're moving towards my base. Yep. Infantry quick. Luckily, I have, uh, well, it's kind of lucky I had those two there, otherwise I might have actually been in trouble. Yes, I know my harvest is under attack, they'll be dealt with, don't worry. Right. Show me a charm. 
It seems like, right now, I think it's fairly safe to call me the victor. Why don't you surrender, and then we'll just call it even. How's that? Oh, who am I kidding? I'm just going to stomp on your base. Charge! Oh, no. This was silly. I should have stayed as a group. They completely messed that up. They fired their ice. I think they fired it over there. At least that's what the graphic on the screen seemed to say. Unless that was just left over. This is the command of Conquer Lambda. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. Right, protect them. There, good. If they get hit while they're frozen, they'll die instantly if I remember correctly. time you've used it. You've not got any more, have you? Maybe he's got two. Okay, so apparently the Guardians are actually uh, a bit better than I gave them credit for. I was just playing wrong. That was pathetic. Not exactly the iron cannon, is it? Maybe that's the reason why they sort of encourage you to build more than one. No, they've only actually got one. So I'm not sure how they managed to recharge their thing so quickly. Maybe that's just taking too long. I think we won. Don't know what gave me that impression, but I think it's fairly safe to say that we have actually succeeded in this endeavor. Yellow player eliminated. There we go. Mission complete. And despite the fact that I was playing as armies, it gives me the outro or victory screen for the uh, for the marines. Well, for invaders technically, because uh, the cranoids get that victory screen as well. Yeah. So, not only did I create the second most units, I harvested the second, though third most resources. In fact, I didn't come first in. What did I come first in? Structures raised, okay. Units killed, yes. Not structures built. So, all I came first in was structures raised and units killed. Basically, I am an incredibly violent individual. I should be ashamed. Oh well. Right. Now, I know this is quite a short video, but I want to go and see if my uh, sound settings are actually correct, because from what I've seen, sort of on the bar at the bottom of OBS, I'm skeptical. So. I'm going to put in a quick cut, and I'm going to go check that, so give me a moment.